ஜம்மு காஷ்மீரில் வெள்ளத்தால் பாதிக்கப்பட்டுள்ள மக்களுக்கு பல்வேறு அமைப்புகள் சார்பில் உதவிகள் வழங்கப்பட்டு வருகின்றன இளைஞர் காங்கிரஸ் சார்பில் மேற்கொள்ளப்பட்டு வரும் உதவிகள் குறித்து விவரிக்கிறார் முன்னாள் மத்திய அமைச்சர் அம்பிகா சோனி அவருடன் ஸ்ரீநகரில் நம் செய்தியாளர் கணபதி நடத்திய கலந்துரையாடலை பார்க்கலாம் இப்போது நம்மிடம் இருக்கிறார் முன்னாள் மத்திய அமைச்சர் அம்பிகா சோனி அவர்கள் அவரிடம் ஸ்ரீநகரில் இப்போது இருக்கும் சூழ்நிலை பற்றி கேட்கலாம் Namaste madam you come to Srinagar for uh, relief for how is the situation now what are the challenges you are finding um you know for last 5 7 days the jammu kashmir congress committee under mr soz and the youth congress and this why sent by rahul ji have been working and finding uh, ways and means of reaching people who are the most affected by really very tragic Uh, uh floods which have come into the heart of the city uh, we all know kashmir for its beauty and it's been compared to heaven but today people are crying out for water so it was uh, the whole thing was full of water people are on their roofs the roofs are sloping lot of army people have done a lot of good work they have saved a lot of uh, lives that is their duty but we try to be a little volunteer group even though they are youth congress and nsui they did a volunteer job of reaching packed food packages to as many people not caring who is where and our minister has also been uh, gathering rice and dal giving to langars which are running in masjids and gurdwaras so that they can be cooked so the uh, they are not behaving like office bearers a big political people but like ordinary workers everyone is today in the field trying to do a job on the name are of are you are you supplying medicines also where are the relief material coming from no relief materials have come from a lot of uh, good well wishers in fact at the moment relief is coming in the form of food cooked food and other th- items which are of essential uses like tablets to purify water mosquito coils crocin electra you know these are the elementary we can't prescribe medicine uh, our maharashtra congress people have offered 30 doctors immediately we have yes, to make arrangements for their tomorrow we are starting medical tomorrow uh, mr vikar uh, is starting he's got the responsibility of starting medical camps he's got the tambus and all that so doctors will start giving medicines the youth congress has got some medicines to begin with i'll send more from tomorrow so we are trying to do those things which once the roads open a lot of people will come but these are the days when people need they are hungry for last 3 4 days children so we are trying to get milk powder we are trying to get water you know our youth congress here has bought all these syntex tanks and with the red cross they are purifying water because bottles are not enough so there are lot of lot of people have lost their houses also or partially damaged etc uh, what is uh, can be what can be done for them can they be put in some relief camps etc no no lots of camps have been set up i think 5000 tents were set up uh, by the government and the army especially you must remember that people are criticizing the local people that's not a very fair thing to do because all the local people whether he's a policeman whether he's a watchman whether he's a secretary in a department they are all affected by these floods they live here so they are in water so they can't leave their house even so we all from outside india because we are one with them on Uh, as indians so we have to come and do this work for them because the local people whether they are government officers whoever they are so it's not fair to blame anybody because they are themselves victims of this tragedy that's why we all are stepping in and lot of people all over the country south north east want to contribute for the kashmiri brothers and sisters but the roads are closed no telephone communication so in the absence of all that we are doing the best we can